you guys this is a 613 wig that i got off of amazon the wig is by i today hair it is in the inch 22 and yeah you can get yours off of amazon or i today's website or aliexpress or something like that i chose to get mine off of amazon because it came back in two days and i needed it for a photo shoot okay so first i'm going to start off by well, you're going to start off by sectioning off your frontal and putting it in a um, rubber band or clip or whatever you have because that's what we're going to do last. So you don't want to get any of the excess um, dye or whatever you're using on the frontal. And we're going to start off with the back first. Before we get started, you'll be needing um, a box of Clairol's dye in the shade Light Golden Brown 5G. And that's it right there. And as you can see... By the price, it was only $5.29, so you can get it from any um, local beauty supply store. It might even have it at different grocery stores in the um, beauty aisle or whatever. And so and now I'm opening it, and y'all, when I tell y'all, I was struggling trying to open that box. Like, it had tape everywhere. I could not get it open. Like, But yeah, I finally got it open right there. So now I'll be telling you guys what comes in the box. And the box has the instructions on it and all that. And um, yeah, it comes with a um, bottle of color activating cream. And it also comes with the bottle of the actual color. So, oh, and it also throws in a um, thing of conditioner. So for when you like wash your hair and you know, shampoo it and stuff, they um, give you some conditioner by their brand. So that's good. And so first you're going to start off by, you're going to take the um, the actual dye. And y'all, do not smell the dye because it is so strong, okay? Like it, was, it burnt my nose when I smelled it. And you're just going to pour all the dye into the color activating cream. And make sure you get all of it inside of it and as much as you can. And then I like for myself to put the top back on the um, dye and just... Flip it over on the side of something so it can like all come to the bottom and you can pour some more. But yeah, until then, just keep shaking, y'all. Just shake, 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 shake. I shook for five minutes and my arms were tired. It's a good workout, so yeah, just shake. Just keep shaking. Just shake, 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 shake. Y'all can time me. Shake, 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 shake. But yeah, just keep shaking until it turns all the way brown. It might take longer for you. And yeah, but it, it didn't take, well, it took about five, six minutes for me. And so now you can see that it's brown pretty much. And I really didn't need the instructions because I already knew. But you can read the instructions to like, you know, give you a walkthrough. And y'all, when I tell y'all this video was on a budget, baby, it was on a budget. So I'm using a paper play bowl. There's no need for you to go out and buy two, three um, dollar um, mixing bowls and mixing brushes and stuff. And I used the um, plastic silverware to mix it up. And so, as y'all will see later in the video, the stuff in the bowl is gonna like turn darker to the actual color that it is. So don't be afraid when you see that that's supposed to happen. And I got this little um, dollar edges brush out the um beauty supply store as well to um apply the brown dye to my roots because i didn't want to use a um a, um dyeing brush because sometimes they're too wide and you i just wanted like very small roots and I, you guys i forgot to mention in the beginning that if you know you're not going to be lifting the back of your hair up or making different parts as far as going down the back of your head. You don't have to do the whole head like I did. You can just do the frontal. That'll save you a lot of time. And so, yeah, but as far as for me today, I'm, I did the whole head. So, you're going to start on the bottom row. And you're just going to lightly, you're going to dab just, you're going to take the brush and just dab a tiny bit on the brush. And just slowly just like glaze it across yeah not glaze graze graze it across the hair and you don't want to push in too hard because you do not want to get the dye on the lace because it will stain the lace and i could have like sprayed some got to be glue on, glue on the lace and stuff like that but i knew i was going to get any on the dye so if you think you're going to be you know messy and clumsy go ahead and put some vaseline on the lace or some got to be um glue spray 
and you're just gonna um, part across each track and put the dye on it. And you guys, I didn't mean to say go slow. I did this pretty fast. It, it It's not that hard. Like you just go quickly. And yeah, you just lift each track up. Once you put it, well, you once you put it on the um, the front of the track, lift the track above that track up and get it on the, you know, bottom part of that. So once you get ready to do the front part of that track, it'll already be like halfway on the bottom, if that makes sense to you guys. And so now I've made my way almost up to the top. And y'all, please don't do the dye going across in a straight line. Kind of like do some pieces a little long, some pieces a little short. And yeah, right here I started getting a little sloppy. I didn't um, part every track. I was just pulling pieces of hair and doing the roots. But it's still going to come out cute and how you like it. Okay, so once you get done with your whole back part, now we're going to get into the frontal. And so you can just take your rubber band down that you um, used to put your frontal up. And now we're going to get into how I did the frontal. So for the frontal, I took some mousse. It can be any brand of mousse. And I just put it all on the edges of it to lay it down so I won't have any flyaways. Because you guys, flyaways will create a mess. You get a little bit of dye on the flyaway, and then the dye be everywhere. And so now, as y'all can see in the background, the, the dye has turned very dark. Like I said, it was in the beginning. And as you um, you just do the same thing to your edges. Now, be very careful because, like I said, you do not want to get it on the lace. And I did the edge, the hairline, very slowly. And I only kept the um, amount I put to about an a inch of width. So just as you can see right there, I it's like an inch width or half an inch. But as the video go on, I'm going to like bring it back some because I realized that those are pretty much going to be my edges. So take your roots back further so that you'll have room to like part off edges and stuff like that. When I tell y'all, like, I was barely touching the hair with the brush, like, you don't have to rub it or, like, you know, like, like you're brushing your hair, actually, because, like, just that little tap of get it on there. And because you don't want harsh roots, you want, like, you know, you want it to be like it's flowing into your hair. So that's me done with the hairline before I went um, deeper and, well, deeper down. So now I'm about to start bringing it back. You see, I'm brushing it and pulling it back further, which made it look 10 times better to, in my eyes. But yeah, so now I'm getting, 
now that's about an inch right there width of the die and yeah i'm just doing the same thing that i did to the whole head and yeah so when you get done with applying the dye to the hairline then you're going to get into getting the um dye within the frontal and so i wasn't able to insert a clip of me doing um the dye um going um vertical but right now you can see here that i'm parting you want to part all the way across your frontal in a um horizontal line and then you're going to apply the dye like that so it's going to be three ways you apply you're going to apply the edges you're going to apply um the dye vertically and then you're going to apply horizontally or vice versa it doesn't matter which order you do but do the hairline first though um and yes, yeah, so you just do the same thing that you did. And I just kept parting it vertically and applying the dye. And you guys, I know you're probably wondering like, wow, she has a lot of flyaways, but don't worry about those little flyaways because that's gonna give it that ombre effect, which is gonna make it look even more realistic that it's your hair and your roots. And yeah, I did this pretty fast. This only took me about 30 minutes. And so, yeah, when you're done, well, you're going to see a video next of me when I'm done. And you're just going to take your comb and just do a whole bunch of different parts to make sure that you got dye on all the roots because you don't want any um, left out roots. You don't want some blonde and some brown. It's going to look tacky. So, yeah, you just part through everywhere to make sure it looks good. And y'all, that looks beautiful. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And make sure you all subscribe. Peace.